welcome back to jademy so today we are going to discuss about attributes and output values so what is the main important of uh, these attributes and outputs uh, in uh, terraform how it will help us to uh, get our uh, things uh, done very easily so now let us assume we have a scenario uh, i I'm, i will go directly to the example so i am having i am creating one uh, elastic ip or any public IP in my EC2 console, my EC2 environment from Terraform and as well as S3 bucket I am creating. So I want to know what is the IP address and S3 bucket endpoint name, domain name I can say. So without logging into AWS console, how we will achieve this one with the Terraform. So that we will see in detail. So first we need to understand what is the attributes. Attribute is a, a piece of data that belongs to the objects which we are trying to create the value of an attribute can be referenced in the expression using the dot separated by notation like as follows you can see we are calling aws instance dot example dot id i will in this one we will get the aws ec2 instance id so terraform has a capability to output the attributes of a resource with output to the values it is not only output not only the not only outputting it will also add it is having all once the ip is created this needs to be automatically updated in a, our security group to allow a specific access in the security group assume i am creating one elastic ip and same i am creating one security group this elastic ip i don't know until i create right uh, so uh, once the elastic ip creates this needs to be allowed in my security group by default that option also we will achieve by using terraform attributes and output attributes can not only be used for the user reference but it can also act as an input to the other resource that's what i'm mentioning elastic ip we can in give an input to the security group that is created via terraform with this example we will understood perfectly what is going to happen i hope this will be confusing still no problem let us go to our uh, atom editor we will try to achieve by example then you will easily understood okay so this is my code attributes so provider and resources already you are aware and output for now what we will do output check in let me comment it out output section for now later we will do it again we will uncomment it out and we will test it okay I will show you the differences what we will achieve with this one okay okay now I have saved this one so just I'm creating one elastic IP of the resource and guest three bucket of this name so let me go to this and just apply terraform plan we'll see what actually yeah it is uh, straight away it is giving aws s3 bucket this is creating my s3 for local and aws uh, elastic ip for eip so without any further delay we will just apply terraform apply so just please verify uh, once you are applying everything is perfect then you go and press yes once you are giving yes then it will go on provision the resources which we requested in the terraform template so meanwhile we will go and verify in our aws console as well so to verify so what we have done now just we have we have created one elastic ip and one s3 bucket here you can see elastic ip is creating and s3 also creating so okay assume i don't have any aws account access i am using only api calls to create resources how i will connect to my aws account uh, my aws elastic ip without i don't have any access i don't have any s3 uh, s3 uh, aws console access also then how can we achieve this one how can we get the s3 bucket endpoint so this is the way we will achieve generally if you are having access generally what we will do this is my aws console once you log in we just navigate to elastic ip sections under ec2 
you will easily able to see this one you can see right 54 78 68 48 in the same way i will go here i'll just refresh this section and you will able to see jidemi terraform demo 01 that's what i have given here the bucket name and ip we don't know so you can also verify same thing in terraform state file you can just go here provider provisioning terraform state file uh, attributes okay i mean under attributes only right yes attributes attributes.tf this is the one and terraform.tf state okay it's saying some uh, permission issue to open this file okay so now i have created i log into my aws account and i got the details of my elastic ip and s3 bucket endpoint so now if i don't have console access then how i will how i will get this one okay so before that what i will do it is created you can see now just i will perform terraform destroy terraform destroy so did you mean this try okay so i'm giving the terraform destroy in this area so what will happen we will see and i'll go to the attributes area okay and you can see here i will just give 0 to okay s3 bucket names are unique queue if you are creating and deleting even you it won't create it requires some 72 hours uh, time after that only we will be able to create with the same name again so make sure you are changing the name so i just change the name and i i'm just enabling the outputs here i need to enable this as well then only we will be able to see our s3 bucket endpoint name and as well as elastic ip just save this one go back and once this is destroy yeah it is asking to destroy too so it is destroying so destroy now now what we will do just go ahead and terraform plan we will we, without any plan we will directly apply it we will see what will happen you can see elastic ip no elastic ip is there if you see here as of now it is destroyed it now again we are creating see here we need to okay something error it's came okay a managed resource ip will be not been declared in the root module okay 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 so there is some little mistakes there. so i need to change this back to eip because the same this with this name only it will call here okay sorry i am working with uh, linux so it, it, it is confusing okay just save this one you need to call this attribute this uh, resource with the help of uh, aws resource name and terraform local name you are calling the value of output okay yes here my s3 already given so no worries just go ahead and do apply directly so once we are performing apply it will trying to create one more ec2 with uh, elastic ip ec2 elastic ip with s3 bucket and point name so you can see here elastic ip is creating bucket also creating so quickly we'll verify here see it is created one elastic ip elastic ip it is created now how i how i will know whether it is created or not now i have access to my uh, ec2 console that's the reason i am able to get that one i don't have access now then how i will how i will get now you can see here in the output sections you can see a lot of things came for my, my s3 bucket earlier it was not coming in the same way you can see here for elastic ip also in the output section once supply complete resource 2 added then we are getting outputs of 2 we are getting in this one lot of things is we are getting so this is the public ip how we will how we will call any specific attribute from the output let us go with let let let, let us go on 
let me clear the screen okay if you see the terraform documentation for elastic ip yes this uh, i am in a AWS provider under aws ec2 elastic ip under attribute references you can see there are a lot of uh, attributes is there you can call anything as per your requirement but today's demo i am using public underscore ip so let me go back here i need to call this one so what we are calling here this is the local instance res resource and local name which we have given followed by attribute which we actually need and the same way with s3 bucket as well so let me go to s3 resource here s3 we have under that one s3 bucket under attribute attribute references we have s3 id what is the bucket arm bucket domain name so we need to print this one yes bucket underscore domain name let us go bucket underscore domain name okay just once you have given this one just save this one go again to your command line and do terraform apply again let us see what will happen now see it is just refreshing the state there is no changes that's why it is just refreshing the state and it will give the output of required attributes instead of giving all attributes which is available for that specific resource from the aws i hope you guys understood yes now you can verify here you got only two out under outputs you got only two attributes that is elastic ip and s3 bucket domain name if you if you go up little up so you got all the output attributes in previous section all right now you can see only required attributes you received so that is the, that is how this terraform is very easy to get the resources if you see here in the terraform state files terraform state file uh, earlier we are able to see only resource section so now i have added output section so under outputs we are we are able to see whatever the param whatever the attributes we are calling that also listing in outputs if i minimize this output section you will able to see the resource also in the same way you by this you will also uh, got an idea about the terraform state file whatever it contains in a terraform state file like outputs and resources also we are able to record in the terraform state file so by this uh, you will uh, clearly understood what is terraform state file also i hope uh, at high level overview you understood what is the attributes and output values how it will helpful in uh, our real time scenarios so in basically in our organizations if you are using in a production environment uh, generally you don't get uh, that much easily the production aws account access so to uh, to get these attributes assume you are creating any um, load balancer and the other endpoints you want to get the output of the endpoints you want to know the endpoint of load balancer to give it to your domain admin to add uh, this as a c name record uh, or other validations so that uh, in that scenarios it will highly helpful so uh, i hope this is uh, very clear to you how attributes and outputs we will use it with the uh, we use with uh, created resources from the Terraform. Thank you for watching.